Hey everyone, how are you doing tonight? I'm Carol Hickman with Chick Stamper and it's Paper Pumpkin Night. I'm just gonna adjust my phone a little bit, you guys. There we go. So, Paper Pumpkin Night is so fun. It's the end of February, the last Wednesday of the month. So it's a little early this year, or this month, I should say, because it's February. But what I'm gonna do is show you the projects from Stampin' Up! Hi, Marlene, that they have uh, come up with the concept artist. I'll show you those projects made up and I posted a photo earlier this afternoon So you might have already seen that and then I'm gonna show you my alternative projects this month Oh, thanks great. I appreciate that hun. So what I've made is a scrapbook page I always like to make a 12 by 12 scrapbook page out of the monthly kit and some type of 3d project so I've got a cute uh, project to show you as well just a real quick little treat um, using the fun little wobble springs. So this month's kit is called Safari Celebration. So it lends itself because it's cute little animals and kind of a funky, whimsical type animal set. So it, I can't wait to share with you. But first, let me show you next month's paper pumpkin is all about Beyond the Horizon. Do you remember last Friday in my uh, Facebook Live and I used the Horizon uh, dies with the on the horizon stamp set and we made these cute cards and this one a little fun fold there well next month's paper pumpkin uses uh the same type of products which means it will coordinate with that whole set so we'll have to see what i come up with once the kit comes i never know but um Maybe I'll dip into some of the paper or the dies or anything to add to it. I don't know. So so it coordinates with the uh, Horizon set and bundle and paper and all of that. So I think it will be fun, you guys. If you haven't uh, already subscribed, you have until March 10th. So take a peek at the uh, description of this video. And then you'll see, the, I think, maybe even the first, first line on there um, once I start loading the links. Um, gives a link to join for Paper Pumpkin. So you can sign up and, and oh, this is so exciting. Next month is a bonus month. Generally in March, we get some kind of bonus. So, so the Paper Pumpkin kit always comes with a stamp set, uh, one or two little stamp spots, uh, little ink spots of ink. And then of course all the supplies, right? And Paper Pumpkin even comes with adhesives. I mean, that's so cool. But next month, there's an additional stamp set. So a full bonus stamp set um, just for being a subscriber. So click that link, subscribe, get in on the action, you guys. And then I'll be back at the end of next month with some fun projects to do as well. All right. Let's take a peek. Let me just take that out of the way a little bit. And let's see my other housekeeping celebrations almost over. Oh, I should talk about that one, one option for purchasing paper pumpkin because I don't talk about it very often except during celebration is that you can pre-purchase months. So even if you're a subscriber now, you can pre-purchase three months, six months, 12 month packages. And you'll, what happens is you'll be emailed a code when your Current subscription, when you want to use the code, you just enter it at paperpumpkin.com. You log into your account. If you're not a subscriber, you do the same thing. You, you purchase the um, uh, prepaid code on my regular shopping site at chick.stampinup.net. And then you get emailed a code that then you go to paperpumpkin.com and enter that code. But what's so cool about doing that now, or by Monday night, I should say, is you'll get celebration product for it. So you'll get free stamps, paper, whatever items you choose, depending on how much you purchase. So remember celebration products come in $50 increments. There are some products at the $100 level as well. Um, so you can get free celebration items for your paper pumpkin. So keep that in mind. That's a great, great way to get those celebration items. If there's a few that you haven't received yet and you wanna get them before the 28th, because then celebration, We'll, we'll have to say goodbye to celebration. <laughs> hey, Corrine, I'm just... Oh, I think the paper pumpkin next month is going to be good too, right? Thank you. Um, because we all love that Horizon set, right? I just had so much fun playing with it last week, and I'm excited to see what Stampin' Up! does with it. So, all right. 
So I'm going to flip the camera down, you guys, and we'll take a peek at this month's kit. It's called Safari Celebration. So hang on. I moved up my camera a little bit so we could kind of see the 12 by 12 page. So let's see. I might have to get my hands in here to bend it down a little. And then let me see if I can bring you up on the tablet and find you there. Okay, good. Well, that was a little too far, but at least now I can see where I'm at. Let's see. And I've got that host code in there in case you want to do that uh, paper pumpkin code because you'll get celebration product again. So, so you can search, go to my website and search um, for paper pumpkin prepaid code and then you'll be able to to lock in the savings there. Okay, so here's the cover for the Safari Celebration Paper Pumpkin Kit for this month, for February. So inside, many of you know because you're subscribers, you get these color photo uh, instructions, but do you have to put them together that way? Of course not, these are just suggestions from the concept artist, and I think it's fun, but you may not want to use all of your kit for that, right? So this is the way that the concept artist suggested. And I love these cool envelopes this month. Aren't they fun? The extra print on them. And then we've got our cute monkey. And our fun giraffe. Look at that. Isn't he cool? So also in the kit came these very different. They're like those little pebbles we have a little bit. They kind of look like rock salt to me. So they are the embellishments for the month. And what I've done on the projects that I made is I used uh, one of our alcohol blends, our Stampin' Blends, to color them. So I'll show you what I did there, okay? So this is the suggested way to put them together, which is fine, they're cute. But if you saved some product out, um, let me show you. Let's see, here's the stamp set for this month. And it came with uh, a Rich Razzleberry Stampin' ink spot. So, so that's the color that I'm using, depending on how you're reading some of these words here. But that's our stamp set. So we'll be using that. It came with our little ink spot. So if you're low on space, you probably really like collecting these little ink spots because uh, it doesn't take much. And then you can have all sorts of colors in your space. Okay, you ready for some fun? I should say that this month's kit came with enough product to make nine cards, which is the same for next month. It's gonna be for nine cards. I wanna start with our scrapbook page. So let me show you what I came up with. Isn't that cute? So I've got, let me kind of come down a little bit because I wanna make sure you get to see the whole thing. So. I'll, a five by seven photo will fit on here. You'll still be able to see a little bit of the Fresh Freesia cardstock, and then of course the old olive as well. And then all of these fun leaves came in the kit. You get three pages of these. And you can see I used some down here as well. This vellum circle came in the kit and I used my layering circle dies to cut out an old olive and a Fresh Freesia uh, scallop circle and regular circle out of the largest size that come in that. On the bottom, what did I use there? I used some of the Artfully Composed designer paper. That's this fun leaf designer paper, I'll call it. <laughs> it has all these fun sheets. And then the sixth sheet is the one that I've used down here. So I just have a three inch strip right across the bottom. And then I used these adorable die cuts from the kit, the leaf die cuts from the kit. And then you can see what I've done. Hopefully you can see these little embellishments. Again, they kind of look like rock salt to me, but I just used my Rich Razzleberry Stampin' Blend and colored them. So that's kind of fun. All right, so let's get started then. Let's do it. 
So I've got a 12 by 12 piece of basic white, right? We've got to have our base. A full sheet of rich razzleberry. A three inch by 12 inch strip from that designer paper. Let me come up a little bit for you. And old olive, five and three quarters by seven and three quarters. Fresh freesia, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And then the layering scallops, layering circles, but the largest scallop circle and the largest regular circle in fresh freesia and old olive. So I die cut those. This uh, sentiment uh, tab here banner comes in the kit. The vellum circle comes in the kit. And of course our cute animals and leaves are from the kit. So tried to use as much as I could. All right. Goodness gracious. Let's put our three inch strip down first, okay? And let me see if I can try and, there we go. Try and swipe for your comments a little bit. Hey, you guys, I appreciate you being on here tonight. I hope you're having a good day. You know, I live in Phoenix, and so it's, guess what? It stormed all day today, and I'm not even sure it made it out of the 40s, which you can imagine is quite rare and unheard of for us this time of year. But it was kind of fun, just different. And it was easy to say, okay, because we know it's not going to last and it'll be back up nice and warm by the weekend, I'm sure. All right, so this is just that three, three inch by 12 inch strip from the designer paper that I added. Didn't come in the kit, I, it's from the Artfully Composed. So I just added that along the bottom of my basic white strip. All right, then I've got a full sheet of Rich Razzleberry, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna attach it, but I'm gonna just kind of butt it up against the uh, green strip there, okay? So let's get some adhesive on here. And I'm just gonna center it or attempt to center it, right? Just do my best, I'm just eyeballing it, but I can feel that it's kind of butted up against the designer paper there. Okay, so that's right up to the top. Alrighty, then we've got all of these cute leaves. So let's go ahead and just pop those out. And what you're left with could be a fun stencil if you wanted to use your blending brushes. You could, you could stencil in these leaf shapes. We're not doing that tonight on our projects, but it would be fun. Be a fun extra. Hi, Marianne. I love the colors too. They're just really fun. I generally, you know, love bright colors. You guys know that. But these colors, even though they're not bright, bright, they are kind of bold and in your face, and so I think that's why I love them. All right, so we've got a lot of little pieces here. So I'm just gonna kinda put a few pieces down here because I'm gonna be using these in a little bit. I'll just stow them away down there. And I'm gonna use my liquid glue because it's just easier for time. When I made mine today, I <laughs> used uh, glue dots because that's typically what I do but I'm gonna let you guys watch me use this use these messy glue and I'll try not to be messy it's not really my forte as many of you know but I'll try to just be you don't need much because it's just gonna sit there and not really do a lot so I'm trying to be neat like my friend Lisa would be Okay, and what I want to do is kind of put it in a spot so that when I put this piece on, it can kind of go over the edges and the stems a little bit. All right, so we've got this one next. 
I'm just kind of, they can go in any order you like. I'm just kind of looking at the one I made earlier, my sample. And I kind of like the way that one came out. So that's, that's what I'm working off of. And this, these little sprigs, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the end because it's gonna be hidden. So it's kind of okay how it, how it looks. There we go. All right, and we'll just do this one next. No rhyme or reason, I'm just trying to do what I think would look good, but you could do whatever you like. These leaves are just so cute. And the animals are so whimsical, so I think the colors and just, I like whimsical things. I don't tend to go for the stamp sets that are, um, oh, that look like real animals, right? I, I tend to go for the kind of the cutesy and, so I think that's why I like this one too. There we go. All right. So let's put our Fresh Freesia top piece nested down onto our old olive. Kind of come down. I just want to make sure, make sure that I'm in camera view for you guys. I know it's hard when we do a big project like this. All right, so then this piece I'm going to pop up. But instead of having all those little dimensionals or even the larger dimensionals, I'm going to use our adhesive strips here because they're just so easy. So it's going to give me that dimension in a much easier way of applying it and a faster way of, of applying it. And I don't tend to use these very often, but today's project, I thought, oh, this is the perfect, perfect project to go and get those out. So look for those in our catalog on the adhesives page. You get a couple um, strips like this. Sheets of all these different strips, I should say. All right. And the nice thing is you can cut it or you can tear it as you saw that I did that to begin with. Whatever works for you. Okay, how perfect is that? It was like made for this. And then we can easily take off the little adhesive covering and it'll be just a little quicker and a nice uh, even, even height than using how many do you think we'd have to use? 40? <laughs> we would need a lot if we used our regular Stampin' Dimensionals, huh? Okay. So let's get this. I wanna make sure that I'm over this area to cover up the stems, but I also want to kind of be centered on this corner with the same amount of space. So that's pretty good. I think that, that will work. Okay, so let me bring this part up a little bit. Now we're gonna work on this bottom part. So we have a few more leaves left that we didn't use. So let's go ahead and put those down. Again, with the liquid glue, but you could use glue dots, you could use whatever works for you. I know if some of my friends are watching, they're laughing at me for using this but they're probably very proud of me. <laughs> I'm trying to learn to be uh, less messy with it. And my friend Lisa, she if she's watching, she always talks about the micro dots. I don't like the micro dots, that's too much time. I don't have the patience for that. So I'm just gonna do Light little 
globs. <laughs> And then we'll do our little sprig. And this one I'm gonna kinda hide under so I don't have to really see the end if I kinda glob it a little bit. That will be okay. We'll just kinda tuck it under here. There we go. Alrighty, so there's that. And then we've got, let's see, our cute little animals. We've got our roller skating elephant <laughs> and our giraffe. Isn't he cute? Now maybe it's not a giraffe. Hmm. What are those called? You guys are going to have to help me out here. Let me bring up your, maybe, bring up your comments. There we are. What are these what are these animals called? It's not a giraffe, silly me. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Bring them on camera. I'm sorry, you guys. I forget when it's a big project like this, so hopefully you can see that. Let me just show you what I did up here so you can see. And then here's the animals down here at the bottom. All right, so we're gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals on our roller skating elephant. He's kind of cute. All right. Here we go. Even this is kind of a lot. I could have used those strips here, I suppose. That would have made it a little easier. All right, he's kind of cute. And then our, is it a yak? It says yay. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, so we're gonna hang on here. I am gonna build up this circular piece. So this could hold uh, a photo, you could cut a circular photo. It could also hold um, a journaling if you wanted to, to write on the fresh freesia circle or put a white circle over it. That would work too. Just gonna have a little bit of that scallop circle hanging out behind and then we'll put some dimensionals on it. There we go. And we'll put that down on our, uh, it's a stitch circle that came in the kit. There we go. And then I'm just gonna put some regular adhesive on the back of the vellum. And we'll just Set it down here, and again, it could be a photo or it could be a journaling section. All right, so our unnamed animal, <laughs> he's gonna go over there, but first let's stamp our sentiment. So I have, you are so amazing. These are stamps that came with the paper pumpkin kit, and I'm gonna be using uh, Rich Razzleberry ink. So I think this would be a cute uh, kid scrap of page. It could be a day at the zoo. It could just be a kid being goofy. And what I did is I just put a little bit of adhesive right here on the edge. And then I kind of just wanted to see where I want it because I'm gonna pop up the whole thing. Maybe like that, okay. So now I've got this attached, I can flip it over and add my dimensionals. And we did get a whole sheet of dimensionals in with the kit, which is kind of nice. And 
and a whole bunch of mini glue dots. So it's kind of nice. Oh, let me, let me use some of my mini dimensionals. Kind of nice that you don't even have to pull out your adhesives for the kit. Okay. So we'll peel these off. And then our sentiment will be on there. Okay, you are so amazing. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think that's really cute. Now let's add some of those fun embellishments and I'm just gonna kind of move this back and forth so that you get to see the whole page. Let's take a peek. So here's these embellishments that came. And I'm just gonna take my Rich Razzleberry, the dark one, um, Stampin' Blend, so it's an alcohol marker, remember? And I'm just gonna color a bunch. And when I use my alcohol marker on embellishments, quite often, I do it and then I um, go over them a little more, make them a little darker, but I don't have to go all the way down to the bottom. I can just kind of go around the top part. And then once I get them on the page, if they need a little touch up, I put a little bit more right on top. And some embellishments you want it to dry a little bit, others it's, it dries really fast. Um, three, six, nine, how many did I do? I did 10, so I'm gonna need a few more. So we have a few for our second project. And then they'll be nice and dry. All right. So let's put these on, and there's really no wrong or right. I put some on down here just to kind of help with this little, little blob of stems and things over here. So you can see, hopefully you can see, see that area. But again, no wrong or right, it's really wherever you like. They're just fun to, fun to put on. They kind of just look like little rocks. I don't know how often we see purple rocks, but in my projects, we see purple rocks. I'll just put one there. And then we can put some more over here. Just to add a little something, something to the page. All right, you guys, this page is done. So I think, what do you think? I think it'd be a cute kid's page. And let me just kind of move it. And I'll post full pictures so you'll be able to see the full picture too. Because so I want to make sure you get everything in there. Isn't that cute? All right. Project number one. I think that one came out cute. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Sometimes I can see your comments and other times I can't. Oh, a gazelle! Oh, that's a good idea. You can tell I don't know my animals very well. I hope you guys loved it. Oh, good, Edith, you're gonna try it, I'm glad. Oh, yay, Corrine and your kit just came, yay. I'm so glad, you guys. Here is our second project, our little 3D. So it's on a little wobble spring, you can see. And what kid wouldn't want to receive this? You can put little treats in, but just enough, just being able to play with it and make it wobble is, is fun, right? Kids of all ages, big kids and little kids. So let me show you how I made this. Um, you may remember a few weeks ago for Valentine's Day, I made this little holder. I think we put Rolos in it. Do you remember that? So it's the same holder, you guys, the same one. 
So what I did is I used the Sweetheart's dies, and this is the die that you want. So you want to cut two of these. I cut two in Fresh Freesia. So let me show you what I got here going on. Got two of them right there. And then I stamped them with this cute little stamp that comes in with a paper pumpkin kit. And it's just little, little again, I'm sure it's meant to be little pebbles, but I'm just using it as kind of little spots to decorate the paper um, with a, a Rich Razzleberry ink. So one side goes over and I haven't figured out what side that's gonna be. So I'm just going to stamp randomly everywhere. Make it kind of look like it has the measles. <laughs> you can do less or more, but this is such an easy project. These, uh, this die is just so fun and easy to use. And you can make lots of these for your friends and neighbors and with any type of decoration, like you saw the Valentine one that I made. There we go. So I just wanted to decorate that cardstock a little bit. So rich Razzleberry ink on fresh freesia paper is what I've done. So let me get my bone folder and let me show you, might be easier on the back side. So it's symmetrical on three sides, three large circles, do you see that? And then this one is a little smaller. That's what I use for the top. See how it's a little, it's just a little smaller arch. And on this one, three symmetrical arch size circles. This one's a little smaller and really more of an oval. So that's that's my top piece. So they they when you use them on the die machine, you'll get score lines. So I'm going to score and burnish the three symmetrical sides. so that I can put them together. So this is my, my one uh, side that isn't the same as the others. Kind of like those games, right? <laughs> What's not the same? Okay. So then basically, this is what I do. I have two of these and I just fold them up and attach them in. So I'm just gonna put adhesive, a little bit of adhesive on only uh, one of them, and that will be the inside one. And you don't even need it all the way uh, to the edge because some of that will show the way that they overlap. All right, so this is my inside piece because it has adhesive on the three sides. So it's gonna go inside, I hope you guys can see that. And it just kind of, if I sit it up because I want it to be flat, it just kind of comes together on its own. And then I just kind of hold, you could use liquid glue for this too, you guys, because I know some of you liquid glue is so much easier. For me, it's just not, so that's why I don't, but you are welcome to it. And then make sure your, your bottom two pieces overlap, right? Maybe it might be easier to see on this piece and then see how the sides just overlap each other. So there's our little box. Simple, simple. All right, so here's our little monkey from the kit. Oh, and this is, if you don't have these wobble springs, I just get mine on Amazon, but I'm sure any craft store or anything will have them. Um, I just get a big bag on Amazon so that I always have them. And they're just fun. You can see what they look like here. So I take the, uh, it's got like an adhesive backing because it's gonna have its own adhesive on it. So that's kind of cool. Let me just break it here in the center. Maybe, there we go. I just wanna take the adhesive off and then you can see it's a clear, a clear back, right? So then I'm just gonna add it to the front of my box that I made 
And there's not really a wrong or right, other than you wanna make sure what you're putting on, and in this case, I'm putting this monkey on, that he fits on there. And if he shows a little bit through this hole, it's okay because my sentiment's gonna go straight across. So I'm okay with that. Okay, so now I've stuck on that bottom piece. And in order to get my mon monkey to stick on, I need to remove the adhesive layer on the top. So now I've done that. So now it's sticky. So let me turn it around for you. So now let me get my monkey in there, but I, I don't want to go too far down, which I might have already, so let me just adjust it, because he's got, I want the box to stand up. So I don't want his shoes to be lower than the bo bottom of the box, right? Okay, so now I've just stuck him down to the spring and now he's ready to go. Isn't that cute? So we can put, I've just got some Easter candy here. Um, the Valentine ones, I did Rolos. There's just all sorts of, just find a little cute little treat that you want to use. And then this cute little sentiment strip came in the kit and I'm just going to stamp, let's celebrate on it from a stamp, which is a stamp from the kit as well. So most of this little sentiment is gonna hang off. So I only wanna put a little bit of adhesive down on this end so that I can kind of hang it off his body there. All right, and then I've got a few more of these little pebbles, rocks, embellishments that I colored. So we can add those. They're kind of fun because they're different shapes too. I think that's fun. We can add that so that he coordinates with the scrapbook page. And we've used the items that came in the kit. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Wobble, wobble. And then of course, it'll stand up as well. So fun. Okay, that was a quick one. So let me bring the camera up, you guys, and then I can see some of your comments again as well, okay? Hang on. Let me get my hand in here. It's, I hate to drop the camera on you. Okay, there you go. Hi, you guys. I hope you liked tonight's projects. They were kind of fun. Um, and it's nice being February. Obviously, it's a short month. And so next month, my paper pumpkin night is March 30th. And I won't be so rushed um, waiting on my kit, but my kit came yesterday, so it was all perfect. It all worked out. I had time today. Oh, Marianne, you are the sweetest, darling. Thank you. I'm glad you love all the videos. I have so much fun making them, and um, I just love creating. And, and my goal is, you guys, when I create these projects, I want you to create them. So I hope that, that you're encouraged and you are inspired to use products, even different product, but use kind of, sometimes we just need something to kind of light our fire, right? And you can copy them, do not feel bad ever. If you, we call it casing. So if you case them, stands for copy and share everything. That is awesome, that is the biggest honor. But you can change them up, but you can copy directly. So any of my uh, cards and projects that I post, and my videos, you guys, that's wonderful. So enjoy them. I just want you to have a good time um, and create, right? We all wanna stamp, we wanna have fun, we wanna create. So let's see, I will be back next Friday, March 4th, I guess, um, for my next Facebook Live Friday video, my mini class. And I think we're gonna be using some new product. Let's see, that's coming out next week, Waves of the Ocean. So that's what I'm looking forward to using. So not for sure, but I'm pretty sure. Um, 
because I think it will be fun and it's gorgeous. And the stamp set and the die set will be in the upcoming new catalog that goes live in May for the annual catalog. But the papers and these gorgeous uh, rhinestones and things are just going to be available for the next few months. So I need to show you guys all of it because it's so stinking cute. Um, let's see. Other than that, I'll, I know a lot of you don't live in Phoenix. So this week is my in-person uh, BOGO, which is where I sell all my retired product. And um, people get to shop and then purchase current catalog product for uh, the value and take home the retired product for free. But I'll do an online one. So my online one um, is about a month from now. I, I'm pretty sure I have it in my calendar the week of March 21st. So I guess in about four weeks. And I have an online group that right now is, is open, but it's not open to shop. It's just open to look. But I, I have to reload and get, get it ready. So it'll take me a few weeks to get it ready. So if you're not in Phoenix, don't worry. You can still get some great deals um, in my online book. So that'll be next month. And other than that, I think that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Have fun. Go stamp and create and have a great evening. Have a wonderful week. I will be back um, next week on the 4th. I love you all. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.